Hey everyone, I'm Logan and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Full Metal Alchemist games on the PSP. Full Metal Alchemist Senaka Otaku Seishimono is great. The game has a story mode, a free battle mode and ad hoc multiplayer. In this story mode you have 14 story arcs to complete. Each of the 14 characters has their own story. The story is told via text boxes and since there is no free roam, you just jump from one battle to the other having some dialogue in the middle. Some sandbox areas and the Full Metal Alchemist RPG would have been cool, but well, at least the combat in the game is so solid and addictive enough to have an enjoyable 14 hours of almost the same thing. I say almost because each character is different. Edwards has two moves. An alchemic attack done by holding the R and pressing X or circle and a defensive wall, which you can create by holding R and hitting square. What's neat about this system is that Edwards draws elements from the environment, meaning that if you're doing the move on grass, you're going to have a mud wall. If you're doing the move on concrete, you get a stone wall. There are also special moves you can perform and by the end, most plot lines get you to this huge boss fight. Also, Edwards isn't the only playable character. There are other 13 playable characters, each with their own moves. By fighting, you can boost the stats of each character in the game, and there are even alternative costumes for the characters. Overall, the game is great gameplay-wise, but it could have been better in the content. I mean, look at the competition. Naruto games are text-based too, but they also have full voice acting. Also, Naruto Kizuna Drive has big areas to roam. What I mean by that is that Full Metal Alchemist Senaka Otaku Seishimono is great, but with some full voice acting and a little bit of sandbox RPG elements, it could have been a masterpiece. I mean, look at the graphics, pulling this off on a PSP, damn, it looks like a PS2. Still, the game is really really good, as it is, even in this form. I'm just saying that it could have been a masterpiece, but anyway, the game is amazing and you should try it. Full Metal Alchemist Yakusoku no Hie, or To the Promised Day, is great. It's a turn-based strategy game and a pretty good one. The gameplay is how you would expect from a turn-based strategy game, and it's pretty enjoyable. Also, it's awesome how creative the levels get. You don't have to just fight, but also flee or get to a certain point on the map to transform something. The graphics look like a PS2 game, and that helps too. The story is told via text boxes, and finally, there is voice acting, full voice acting. And not only that there is voice acting, but there's also plenty of expressions, frames from the anime and snippets that tell you the story very well. You can feel how epic the anime is even if you haven't watched it yet. That's mission accomplished on the storytelling department. A bummer in this RPG is the missing free room. You know how in RPGs you usually get some free room element where you get random encounters. Well, not in this game. The game takes you around 20 hours to finish, it's epic, but you don't get free room, you just jump from dialogue to dialogue and then into combat. Still, the game is epic, from the story to the gameplay and music. The battle system is nice and engaging, the formula sounds monotonous on paper but it works out like a charm, moreover I prefer this game because it has a nicer presentation and is more varied than the first one, it's a really great game you should play even if you don't know Japanese. Overall, the two Full Metal Alchemist games are hidden gems, and you should play them. Alright, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram and Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.